everyone. So today I thought I would share a few tips on how I draw in Starbucks cups. Now this does not have to be limited to just the Starbucks cups. It can go to pretty much any cup that you want to draw on. So yeah, although the materials I use are primarily for the Starbucks cups and any cup that has similar texture and materials. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing the materials I use and the main technique. I will not be able to show you actually like me drawing on the cup because I need both hands in order to do so. And one hand is holding my phone to record and the other hand is down here ready to show everything. So I apologize about that. I hope I can get a decent camera to do that in the future. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the first and most important thing that you're going to have to think about is how you're actually going to hold the cup. For me, I found the best method is to stick pretty much my left hand inside the cup and to take whatever material I am using and just find a place and draw on the cup. And it helps to hold it like closer to you so you can get like even lines and it's more helpful to hold it closer to you. So like you stick the hand in the cup and like, hold it close to your body. That's just the method that I found the best for me personally. It might be different for other people, but you know, <laughs> you can try it out. If it doesn't work for you, then I would suggest trying to find another method. But yeah. The next thing I'm going to tell you about are the materials that I use. So the first thing I use are Copic markers, which shouldn't be too much of a shock if you know me. Um, I find that they're best for blending and everything. So I like to use them on my cups, which most people say are a waste, but I, I don't know. I like my Copics and I'll use them in any way I can to create art. The next thing that I use are my microns. Now, I just found that these actually work really well recently, although when you draw on the cup with them, you need to let them dry first before using the Copics or anything because they do have a tendency to smear. Um, but I use them primarily for this cup as well as like black Sharpie, like these type of Sharpies. Fine tip. Um, <laughs> I have a blue one here because I do not wear my, or I do not know where my black one is. So I apologize about that, but these are the type of Sharpies that I use. And the last thing that I use for my cups are white jelly roll pens. And these are amazing for the white details that you see in the cups. And that's all that there really is to say about the tips and tricks that I use and the materials that I use to create my cupboards. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave some comments down below and just ask your questions there and I will do my best to reply to them. Um, I know one question I will get is, do I sell my cups? And the answer is no. There's, I've been told that there are some copyright issues because of the Starbucks logo, so unfortunately I cannot sell my cups. But um, I have another video showing a bunch of the cups that I have created in the past. So I will also link that in the description below if you are interested in seeing all the cups I've made. Minus this one, because this one wasn't created at that point. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!